Hello all, in this video we are going to see uh, example given in Informatica help file itself. So that example is given under the section of SQL transformation. So basically in this example we are going to execute dynamic SQL query uh, using the SQL transformation. So the example is something like this. We have one source file. Uh, these are the records or these are the column uh, headers of that source file. We have product ID first. After that price code after that unit price and your package price so this unit price and uh, package your package price are for the price code uh, uh, which are which are between m w and r so we have three uh, price uh, price code or you can say product types so for these three product types you have unit price and package price so this data i have copied already to the notepad so the data is something like this So this is our data. I will copy this data to CSV file, which will become our source file to the mapping. So data, text to columns. Next, it's a comma separated. We'll insert the column headers. First is first is product ID. After that, price code product ID after that price code and unit price and package price so if you see for each product code we have two values unit price and package price see, see, for MWR 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 and for each product ID we have three different product types and for each product type we have two values of unit price and package price if you will see the target table now so these values basically we have to update at target table so our target table definition is something like this we have product id which is there in the source file we have w unit price w package price r unit price r package price m unit price and m package price that means for each product type that is W, R and M, we have two separate columns that is unit price and package price. So basically the incoming values for each product type we are going to update at target table. So our target table definition is this. I have copied this definition also to notepad. So this is our target table definition. We'll copy this definition to I had created this table earlier so I will drop that table first I will recreate this table table is created we will insert the records as they have given in the example I will just verify whether the records really got inserted or not so if you see records got inserted and currently all records has value as zero so let's start with the mapping creation so our mapping logic will be something like this we have a csv file as a source that is this file we'll close this file so we'll save this file at d colon infra work and we'll give the name as prod underscore prod cost it will be csv file okay after that we'll have expression after the expression we'll have sql transformation so sql query so this is a sql transformation basically uh, after that we'll add filter and after that the last is relational table basically why we are adding filter is all updation whatever is going to happen that will happen in the sql transformation itself so we don't will have we don't have any data or records uh, that is going to get inserted at target table so that's the reason we'll add a filter and uh, it will be a false type so no record will get inserted at 
target table so our uh, table uh, our sql query is something like this update prod underscore cost set column one equal to value one call two equal to value two so basically call one and call two we are going to decide based on the incoming value of product type so that will uh, going to decide at expression level so if it is a incoming value is w incoming value is w then the call one will be w unit price and the call two will be w package price and same logic applies for rest all product types that will be m and r so let's start with the mapping creation we'll import the source file first go to the source sources import from file infra work our type is csv file prod underscore cost finish import the target from database target table is prod cost we have done with the source and target import we will create the mapping m underscore sql formation import the target as we have seen in the excel file after the sql transformation or uh, sorry after the sql transformation or source qualifier we will add expression transformation so in expression transformation basically we are going to decide or we are going to create two extra columns based on the incoming value of product type so add two more out columns outputs so o unit price and output port o package price so these are only outputs so based on incoming port that is price code we are going to decide what column it is so first is for unit price so if price code is m our unit price column will be m unit price if price code is w then it will be w unit price if it is not m or w then it, it must be r unit price same logic applies for package price okay okay same logic applies for uh, uh, okay same logic applies for package output port so instead of unit we will change it to package pkg so if it is m product code is m that we, that means it's m pkg price if it is w then w pkg price if it is r then it will be r pkg price now we'll insert sql transformation so uh, there are two types actually script mode and query mode as we are going to write the query in transformation itself we will select it as query mode done we will connect the inc ports which are coming from expression we will forward those ports to SQL transformation
now main logic will apply it over here go to the sql port over here you will have uh, drop down sql query and just write your update query here target table is prod underscore cost set so incoming column is the output first output which we have created so it will be unit price comma for second column it will be package price and add the filter condition that is price code no that will product id PRODU product ID equal to product ID which is coming from source file. Add filter transformation. property will be always false as we don't have to forward any record to target if else so that not a single record will get inserted at target okay we have done with the mapping creation mapping is in valid state we'll create the workflow wf square transformation for emission create the session task s underscore square square transformation connect the two tasks specify your source files path so we have stored our source file at d colon infra work copy this path and paste it at specify the connection value for sql transformation give it as oracle which is a relational transformation re relational target ok we have done with the workflow also workflow is in valid state just run the workflow workflow got completed successfully uh, source qualifier gave 9 records not a single record got inserted at target level but that was expected we'll just verify whether records really got updated at target level or not select star from prod underscore cost so if you see still the values for uh, all the records are zero we'll find out why it didn't got updated just go to the session log find out for error and if you see over here the error, error at log says that native type cannot be found so the one thing which we missed out is at SQL transformation level we have to specify the native type so as our target target table or the table in which we are going to update these records incoming records is the oracle that is relational one so we have to specify native type for oracle over here so even though the product ID got considered at informatical level as decimal for oracle we have to define it as where care and for unit price it will be a number so only for product id the native type which we have to define it as where care so just choose the native type as where care price code so price code basically is the product type so that will be where care obviously unit price will define it as number 
similarly package price will define it as number now o unit price and o package price are the column names so that will define it as where care product id is where care unit where care this is number when this is number and these two are worker save the mapping will refresh the workflow workflow is in valid state will run the workflow again so is this in this time also uh, source qualifier query returned nine records no record got updated or inserted at target level that was ex expected as we added filter over there we'll just see the record really got updated at target or not so if you see now the records got updated at target level thanks for watching this video